How to print 3x5 index cards and flashcards easily. Learn how to create and print index cards and flashcards without Word, templates, or even index cards paper if you don't have any. In today's video we'll show you how, with a new app, Notedex, the only app you can create cards and print as you always imagined. An index card is a piece of paper, typically 3.5 by 5 inches, that is used to jot down ideas, take notes, and make lists. They are usually plain or lined white cards, but can come in other sizes. People usually buy paper index cards and annotate them with a pen. This is great, but there are two problems. The first problem is that once you use one, you can't use it again if you make a mistake. The second is that it can sometimes be hard to find index cards just when you need them. The most common way to create index cards is using Microsoft Word, using a template like you see here. It works, but it's not very convenient. You can't create both the front and back of the card at the same time, and your cards are spread across different pages. Plus it can be difficult to place images and digital ink on the template. It's not great. There are also some apps out there, but they don't have good print options. Until now that is. Introducing Notedex, designed to make and print double-sided index cards. Notedex lets you design the front and back of your cards. No templates required. You can easily print to PDF, and all the cards will be laid out exactly as you need them for printing. In this video, we'll show you exactly how to use Notedex to print the index cards of your dreams. Now we'll show you how to print index cards. Here, as you can see, we have a stack of flashcards, and for example, if we open the first one, you'll see it has a question and answer on the front and back. If we want to print all the cards to PDF, let's go back to the overview and click the icon in the top right. Then click the save icon and then select the save to PDF option. This will bring up a menu with a number of choices that you can select from. In our first example, assume you don't have any index card paper and just want to print the front and back of each card on one side of each piece of paper. We will select both sides per page portrait. Then we can click export and it will generate the PDF and save in your downloads folder. Let's open it and see how it looks. As you can see, it has each card on one page with the front and back as expected. Furthermore, as you can see in the options, you can also select to print the front and back on alternate pages. Ideal if you are printing to real index cards and want to print on the front and back of each card in sequence. In this case, best to select the landscape option so you fill the whole card if your printer can handle the index card size card stock and do double-sided printing. And here is what the Avery format looks like. In this case, we'll select the option with a border so you can manually cut it out. This is a great way to efficiently print and make index cards, saving you a lot of money. Avery card stock is not cheap. Finally, note that you can also print index cards in a storyboard format 2x2 and 3x3. Here's the 2x2 version. As you can see there are 4 cards per page in this case. The front of the cards are on the first page and the back of the cards are on the second page. Neat! As you can see, Notedex provides an incredible set of printing options, more than any other app on the market. Its natural index card interface means you can make and print cards exactly as you imagine them to be. Using text, images, ink, and many other card formatting options, both on the front and on the back of each card. We can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for watching and download Notedex today.